It's now been a little bit over 4 months since the first episode of Batman the Telltale series released. And now with the 5th and final episode of the season has come out, I can finally review the first season of this game. I decided to not review each episode on their own, since every episode is between 1 and 2 hours long, and a collective review of the whole season is the way to go in my opinion. But now that the full season is out, should you buy Batman the Telltale series for a current price? Let's find out. The story centers around mostly Bruce Wayne, when he has just started out as Batman, and a group called the Children of Arkham is trying to paint Bruce as a bad guy. You should, just like any other Telltale game, look for a good story and character development, and not a lot of action. With that said, the Batman section of this game is very action based, just not in the way you might want. A lot of the Batman sections is quick time events, and only quick time events, which in my opinion is a little bit too much. There is times you look for clues to connect other clues at crime scenes, which was actually pretty interesting. And you can sometimes decide how Batman will tackle the situations, but it doesn't really change the outcome of the situation, so in my opinion it's not really a big thing. The best parts of the season is strangely the Bruce Wayne sections, because the story being told in these 5 episodes is actually pretty good, with a lot of twists and turns during the whole season. This season also shows the starts of the villains, with the Penguin being a childhood friend and Harvey Dent being a total bro with Bruce Wayne. Catwoman or Selina is also a big part of the game, and she is also a very fleshed out character with good chemistry with Bruce. The main bad guy of the story is a huge surprise which I won't spoil of course, and all the characters including the bad guys are very fleshed out. The story of this season is by far the best part of the game, because the quick time events really hurt the game a lot for me. Luckily they don't use it a lot, mostly in the first and last episode. Each episode is between 1 and 2 hours, and the whole season is around 7 to 8 hours long. This would not be a Telltale game without choices, and it seems like a lot of the choices actually does make a difference, like some of the choices being if you're gonna go as Batman or as Bruce Wayne, which will change the outcome of the situation, while other things will go the way it will go, either way even if you make certain choices. In summary, Batman the Telltale series does give us a very good Batman story, and it's taking a lot of risk with changing some of the mythos and the characters. Most of them worked out really well for me, but I do see people maybe getting annoyed with some of the Batman mythos changed, especially with the Wayne family, which is the only thing I'm gonna say about that. But if you want a good Batman story with some lore changes, then I can recommend Season 1 to you. Should you buy Batman the Telltale series Season 1? If you like a good story and characters, then yes. If you want action, then you should probably just play the Arkham series again. I would not pay anything more than 20 to 25 dollars for the season though, since it is very short. But that's all for this video. I'm soon going to release a review of Final Fantasy XV, and if you like to see my Let's Play of Batman, you can see it here. Just pay in mind that there will be spoilers if you haven't played it yet. Make sure to like, share, and subscribe for more reviews and Let's Plays in the future, and tell us your thoughts of the first season of Batman in the comments. Thank you for watching, and see you next time in the next video.